Hello, my loved ones, and welcome back to the Soulmate Journey Empath. This is going to be a weekly energy reading that starts with the energy Monday and carries us over into the following Monday. So I apologize for not having a weekly energy check in last week and uh, not getting those monthly Soulmate Journey readings up. I had a family emergency and I'm temporarily relocated um, um, in a different state. So I apologize for the delays, but I'm getting set up so that I can continue um, providing those readings and energy check-ins for you. All right. So if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so very much. If you're a new subscriber, please don't forget to check out the information in the description box below. Please like comment, subscribe, share with a friend that you think it might resonate with. And if you are interested in updates on the most recent content, hit that little notification bell so that you can get alerted when new content is uploaded. All right. So for this week, I wanted to keep it simple and want to start out with lawns, activations, Oracle Sacred Geometry. On the bottom, we have number 37, Realization. This carries the vibration of the number 10. So this tells me collectively there's a completion happening this week. We see a lot of solar plexus chakra and throat chakra energy here highlighted. So this tells me this is a week of completion when it comes to personal empowerment. When we have a good, strong, balanced solar plexus chakra, it supports a, a, a wide open and strong throat chakra to stand in, be connected, and speak your truth. So this is huge transformative energy happening for us collectively. This is a completion. This is a, a chakra integration and alignment, if you will through a series of events that are going to be unfolding this next week. So that coming in on the bottom of the deck, absolutely beautiful message to start us out. Now, the overall activation for the week is allowance, which is number nine. The vibration of the number nine is about spiritual perseverance, reflection. This is an inward analysis of the journey that brought you to nine, which of course we know is right before a completion, right before the 10. And allowance is highlighted here. And this is really interesting because we see sacral chakra or second chakra, the seat of the divine feminine highlighted, as well as this green heart chakra energy. All right. So let me read that activation for us. The frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. So allowance is our collective activation for this week. Next, I consulted the quantum oracle and got four oracle messages for us. What's interesting is coming in here on the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is that of a teacher, which is a person in your life. This also carries the vibration of the number four, which is all about stability and foundations. So uh, what this tells me is that um, there may be a connection with someone who is helping you um, to strengthen your foundation that is somehow a teacher or a guide on this journey. Um, for others, I'm getting um, that you have been on a personal journey. You have been self-instructive. And if you've been more on a personal journey um, inward and, and in that reflective, allowing energy, um, this is representing your individual path that has been informative or instructive. If not, this could be allowing a teacher to come in and work with you, someone who is going to contribute um, 
lessons or karma that you can integrate that are going to contribute to your overall foundations and stability. So first out, we have family. And this is people card number two. Again, twos are about relationships. So relationships with family, okay, are, are highlighted this week or regarding family situations. Again, when we think of stability and foundations, um, we think of family, fourth house in astrology, right? So there may be issues coming to the surface, either surrounding family or that are highlighting patterns that are happening in family for us during this week. Um, and, and what I'm getting clear audiently is karmic patterns are being brought to the surface. Karmic patterns are being brought to the surface. And as I'm, I'm sitting here, I am getting with synesthesia um oranges which goes back to this original energy of the divine feminine here pictured in the allowance card representing the sacral chakra so what i'm getting in terms of family is there's going to be some individual healing in terms of karmic patterns that uh, have origins in your families in our families um in this lifetime for this week. So even if you're not directly dealing with a family member or a family issue, what I'm getting very strongly is that you're somehow making a connection and identifying a pattern, a, a karmic pattern in the family, gaining this enlightenment on the issue and doing some uh, deep healing here in the sacral chakra, in the divine feminine. So um, those of us, we may have negative thought patterns. We may have negative or limiting belief systems. And this is really healing those and healing us and allowing us to see the connection um, to those patterns in our earlier stages of life regarding our families of origin and where we find ourselves in the energies that we're navigating at present. And there's an element of allowance involved in dealing with the family situation. And what's really interesting is the next card out is the loving woman, which is people. And again, this is number six. This is about harmony and relationships. Okay. Um, so I want to go back to the divine feminine with the loving woman. You were literally being asked um, by the universe this week to be in a, a receptive state when you're getting information, when you're making these connections, when it comes to your family in family dynamics, patterns in a family, beliefs that have been transmitted in a family and really doing that divine feminine healing, whether you're, um, uh, regardless of what gender or, or sex you are, we all have divine feminine energy. All right. So very, very powerful message coming through in terms of that. Now, the next two messages definitely read together. We have increase, which is a secular energy. Okay. This is number three. This carries the frequency of alignment, of collaboration, of co-creation. And this is a pathway. Okay. So um, what's really interesting is what came out with it is intentions, vibration number three, behind a mask. So what this tells me going back to this energy of the number nine with the heart chakra, with those emphasis on the divine feminine that we had here and with the loving woman is that there's a lot of internal work going on for us collectively this week. So there's actually a lot of increase happening, but it's not something that is readily available uh, information that you can uh, discern uh, externally. And um, rather than behind a mask, um, giving me this energy of something that's being maliciously withheld. I'm really just getting that all this healing, all this transformation, all this allowance um, 
and, and healing and balancing the divine feminine energy is really happening behind the scenes. It's not uh, something that can be measured or witnessed externally. All right. So next for the Arcanum Tarot, which I'm going to be using to clarify these messages. The bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance Angel. This is number 14. One and four add to five, carry the vibration of the number five. This is a challenge, but it's also an opportunity for growth. And there's healing and moderation and divine guidance anytime that the temperance angel is coming through in a reading. Okay. So I'm taking that off the bottom and placing it aside because that lets us know that this is divinely guided healing, that uh, there is space for this and to, and to exercise space and patience. So this is actually really interesting because I just had a conversation with my um, spiritual soul sister, uh, the Starseed Intuitive, and we were just talking about having this temperance, having this patience and creating this space for healing and internal progress. So amazing that this is happening collectively for us this next week. What is this family about, please? What is this family about for the collective? And we have the energy of the tower. This is number 16. One and six carry the vibration of the number seven, which is about perseverance. Perseverance. It's also about boundaries. And what's really interesting is having this clarify family. Um, we also have this feature of Uranus. Okay. Uranus energy, scorpionic energy here with the tower. But this is the divine intervention, the divine intervention of this temperance angel. And it is coming in to break apart these systems, to break apart this karma, to break apart these patterns that we haven't consciously released yet around our family, around our, um, our astrological fourth house energy, um, that it needs to be addressed. It needs to be healed. And I think this is really interesting because we had that teacher with the foundational number four coming out. Okay. So there, there is some experience or some person or some enlightenment that is going to be informative and help you rebuild the foundation of this tower of this divine intervention coming in, in terms of family or fourth house energy. All right. So let's get into the loving woman. What is this loving woman about, please? What is this loving woman about, please? For the collective, what is this loving woman about? What is this loving woman about? Loving woman, please. Oh, beautiful. I love this. We have the strength card. This carries the energy of the number eight. Eights are about power and transformation. They're also about maintaining faith. So with the loving woman and the strength here, this is really highlighting um, the strength and the power of us collectively when we have healed and balanced and integrated our divine feminine energy. And you notice here, when I look at the strength card in this depiction, I always think of the virgin from the Virgo card being the one um, with the lion. But again, here we see this feminine mastery. Strength card is also about mastery. So we got into this whole vibe about having karmic mastery, mastery of karmic lessons in the energy for this week. And here is mastery of our seat of the divine feminine, which is absolutely beautiful for all of us. Now let's go ahead and see what is this increase about for the collective, please? What is this increase about for the collective? What is this increase about, please? 
three of pentacles again threes so i want to point out that with this increase and behind the mask energy here we have the three of cycles and the three of intentions now here we have the three of pentacles so this is a message that while this increase is happening behind the scenes very very soon you are going to have tangible results you are going to be able to see this externally and be able to process that there is a noticeable change whether it's in you whether it's in um, that fourth house energy for you in a family dynamic what have you something is being mastered and transforming behind the scenes but the results are going to be tangible and visible in the very near future so what is this behind the mask please all right and we have the six of cups energy this is that water energy so this is emotions the six of cups often denotes something that goes back to childhood and especially with the family card here this is telling me that there is some healing some inner child healing that is taking place for us collectively this week and it's not something that you wear on your sleeve per se this is very personal very internal um very catalytic week is what i'm getting but in the not too distant future in the outside world this increase this raise of your vibration this uh, raise of the frequencies that you're entertaining is going to be obvious in the relationships in your life in the people in the work situations um, and the collaborations that you're aligning yourself with in the 3d so absolutely beautiful now i love this i have this new oracle the ims and on the bottom of the deck we have i am healthy and abundant each day of my life so this is a reminder that even when we may feel like we have this tower energy coming in and it may be happening physically emotionally psychologically that we do have this divine guidance of the temperance angel that we do have all of the elements that we need to maintain balance and abundance in each moment and in each day so healthy and abundant each day that's taking ownership for that within ourselves and one of the keys to doing that this week is by practicing allowance now the oracle messages i got for us i love that they have the same theme I am grateful for all situations, circumstances, and events in my life. And this, again, really, I'm getting for many people. Um, this is acknowledging both tower moments, happy moments, um, you know, circumstances that were out of our control and recognizing that they were instructive that they're that they're teaching us for our highest potential for our highest good and last but not least i love this i am grateful for all i have each day so again this increase is happening there is this abundance and it really starts with coming from this place of gratitude coming from this place of allowance, um, which really uh, challenges us to um, balance and heal um, any blocks, any um, damages, any misalignments that we're having. Specifically this week, we're being drawn to the seat of the Divine Feminine our sacral chakra all right so i hope that these messages resonated for you if they did again please don't forget to like 
comment, subscribe, share them with a friend that you think might enjoy them as well. If you check the description box below, the information for scheduling a private reading, my social media and my email, as well as my PayPal for donations and an Amazon wish list for the channel are all located in the description box below. So until next time, my beautiful loved ones, I'm sending you so, so much love and light from the Pacific Northwest. Bye-bye.